Today I'm going to be talking about eyebrows. Now in my opinion, sculpted eyebrows are out and bushy eyebrows are in. But if you're like me, you don't really have like super thick eyebrows or you weren't born with them naturally. So I just want to show you how I feel in my eyebrows and how I make them look like Cara Delevingne. She is my favorite model right now. And I do like Kendall Jenner. I do like her a great deal. She's wonderful. So it's been a long time since I've had favorite top models. You know, I'm old school. I'm all about back in the day, Naomi Campbell, you know, Christy Turlington, Cindy Crawford, Linda Evangelista, all of those people that I loved looking through the Vogue magazine growing up. So let's get started. Let me get my little makeup compact here because this way I can see a little bit up close. So I've already applied my foundation and also I've added a little bit of blush, a little bit of contouring, and I've just blended everything. I don't have anything else on and we're just gonna focus on the eyebrows. So normally, like in the past, for a softer look, you would always go with a very soft brown, like especially if you are brunette or you have dark hair, you will go with a very soft brown color for your eyebrows. But to create bushier and thicker eyebrows, you definitely wanna go darker. Now, I got this, um, this is NYX, and this is uh, the eyebrow pencil, and it has the little brush on the end, which I really love. I love the brush, and it has the little pencil there. Now, I would like to go a little bit darker, but this brown is a darker brown than what I've normally used in the past. This just makes the eyebrows look that much more bold, and they are really like the focus of the face these days. So makeup can be like very natural, lips can be very natural, but like a little bit of smoke and real heavy eyebrows is the way to go. So I'm going to apply my um, color. And I'm gonna really fill in, I'm gonna put it on pretty heavy. I'm gonna fill it in pretty thick. And then I'll also show you how I use the concealer to still do some highlighting around the eyebrow, but just not creating that fine line that makes them very sculpted. So this is where I go in with my color and you can see the difference. This is very bold, it's very beautiful. It really makes the face stand out. And then you can see this is the eyebrow without any pencil on it. So I'm just gonna start brushing. And I'm not really worried about staying within the lines. And then what I do is like right here in the front, I start brushing down too. And to give me a little bit more depth, because see like Cara Delevingne, she has more of a, like her eyebrows really come low and, and her eyes are very poppy, but there's not as much space. You know, like I have a lot of space to do a lot of fun things with eyeshadow. Um, but it's like the front of her eyebrow nearly comes closer to like the inner lid of her eyes. So I'm actually brushing down. It's almost like I'm contouring to give me a little bit more depth. So you see how I do that to create a little bit more depth, even though I don't have any hair there. <laughs> So, and then I'm just blending it. I'm just brushing and brushing and brushing. And then on the front of the lashes, I can go forward actually just a little bit to create that bushy look. So I'm going up, I'm just blending in. Wherever I see any holes, I just fill in just like that and I'm just blending in the pencil same thing on top Keep going. 
going to fill in a little bit you really want a deepness there and then blend some more I want a little bit more here and then I'm blending some more I'm coming this a little bit forward and up and then coming down some more they also have a new product that I saw um, I meant to get that I actually saw a commercial for it that actually makes your eyebrows look more bushy and it's like a ball it's like an eyebrow mascara but it's sort of like in a ball form um, I will, I'll have to look that up sorry you guys I should have had that ready of uh, ready for the video but um, I'll look that up okay I want a lot more here too I'm gonna put a lot more there okay so now wow you can see the difference and I love this I love this look <laughs> I love being top heavy <laughs> um, so you can see the difference like these this right here is my natural eyebrow this is a much more bold and more full bushier looking eyebrow so now I'm gonna show you how I use the concealer to still do some highlighting above and on the arch of the eye um, and then how I blend in the front of the eyebrow just a little bit I am using the Sonia Kashuk um, concealer palette which I did get from Target and I love it um, the powder I mainly use this darker one all the all the time the one that's not too olivey um, so this is the thing like I'm not trying to create a sculpted line here so I do not have a flat brush but I have like a rounded mini fluffy brush that's good for blending doing like shadow or a crease shadow or or that's also good for blending the whole eye. So what I'm gonna actually do is, I'm gonna only use the powder concealer instead of the cream concealer, because it's still gonna give me a highlight, and then using it with this brush is gonna allow me to just like brush over the eyebrow, but not define the line too much. So I'm gonna blend here. And I'm just gonna go right here so overall setting the eyebrow above the top and I'm not going right on the line but you see where you have like that little muscle right there I'm highlighting I mean it's already highlighted anyway so when you go like that you see <laughs> the little highlight I'm just basically brushing the highlighter right over that but I definitely want to keep the eyebrows looking bushy. And then underneath. And then I'm just gonna brush a little bit more. Okay. And this is pretty much how I do my eyebrows. It's a thicker, bolder eyebrow. We still have a little deepness in there. And I've been able to blend this little area with just some powder concealer. I'm do a little bit of powder concealer there. Under my eyes, I normally use like the cream but I do have my anti-aging um, eye cream on, which is very nice and silky. Okay, so that is my eyebrow. One bushy bold eyebrow and one not so bushy bold eyebrow. And that is the trend that I see that has started even in the latter part of last year and that is continuing on make yourself top heavy okay i'll see you guys in the next video
just want to thank you for subscribing to my channel, commenting on videos, and even sharing the videos. Please spread the word around. You can follow me on Instagram at raghouse underscore international. I love Instagram. There's so much inspiration there. And again, my Facebook page is facebook.com slash raghouse international. You can find me on Big Cartel at Raghouse International Knitwear. I have some really wonderful pieces there. We're going to be popping up a little boutique here and I will have some items for sale as well as a few items on consignment. So I look forward to collaborating with you, other artists, other crochet artists, music artists, and so that we can just set a precedence in the world of art. I'm an artist and I love being an artist. Thank you so much for watching my videos. I'll see you in the next video. God bless. Bye-bye.